Hello my lovely people, I hope you are all doing well. So in today's video, I just thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys what to eat in a week. I really hope you guys enjoy. What you'll learn from this video is that I don't like cooking, <laughs> especially now that I'm home. I let my parents do most of it because they offer and they're just so sweet like that. I do eat a lot of the same things too. I don't really have a super wide variety of things I do eat for some reason. I don't really know why that is, but finally. I try to eat fairly healthy. I don't always let it happen because I have a really big sweet tooth, so you'll always catch me eating some type of sweet throughout the day. But, you know, it's okay because food is fuel. You should eat what you want. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started with it. Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. It's about 9.45 in the morning and I just finished showering after my workout. So around this time, I'm normally hungry for breakfast since I've been up for a few hours. So I like to switch it up kind of what I do for breakfast every day. And I try to make, keep it pretty healthy as well since it is the first thing I'm eating for the day. So sometimes I'll have like a smoothie or I'll do like a baked oatmeal. But today I think I'm gonna have avocado toast because we have a lot of bread right now and that just sounds pretty bomb. So let's go get the stuff for that. All right, so now first things first, I'm going to obviously toast the bread. I love sourdough or just like any kind of like fancier bread because I just feel like bread really makes toast good. So that's the piece for today. So now I'm gonna just cut it in half. And now it's time to put it in the toaster. And while that's toasting, I like to prep the avocado. And by that, I mean literally just mash it up, so. I only use about half an avocado um, for my toast. So I already have one cut up in the fridge, so it worked out really nicely. And I don't add anything when I mash it up. I do all the toppings and stuff after. And then after I mash up the avocado, typically the toast is done in the toaster. So then I'll bring the bread over and I like to add a layer of butter. So it's a really thin one just to kind of coat the bread, I guess. And then from there, I add the avocado and I just kind of spread it out with my fork and mash it down a little more on the toast. And then I'll add some everything about the bagel seasoning. That stuff is so good. And then I'll add some red pepper flakes, but not a ton. I'm not a huge spicy person, but I like a bit of a kick. And then I'll add some salt and then top it all off with olive oil, which makes it really good. So pretty simple recipe, but that is what I do for my avocado toast. And it is so good. Avocado toast, um, the olive oil got a little out of hand. I thought I could do like the thing where you cover it with your thumb and drizzle. Did not work. It's okay though, olive oil is good for you. I really like the combination, but I know there's so many ways you can do avocado toast, so it's like, you could switch it up literally every day if you wanted to. And then typically after I make whatever I'm having for breakfast in the morning, I will then make my coffee, which I do the same every day, which is just whatever coffee my family brewed at home, which right now we're using the Dutch Bros Winter Blend, and it's really good. And then I like to froth some oat milk and creamer together to make like a foam and then pour that on top. So it's pretty delicious and kind of fancy than just putting cream in coffee. So that's what I've been doing. I've been loving it and yeah. So this is what a typical breakfast looks like for me every day. Um, nothing too crazy. I'm not a big cook, but it's still pretty filling and delicious. All right, so welcome back to my kitchen. You're probably going to be seeing a lot of it this week, but it's currently around 12.30 and I just finished with my class for today. And normally after my class, I'm pretty hungry for lunch. So lunch um, typically is very random every day. Sometimes my mom and I are lazy and we'll like door dash or I'll just make throw together like a salad or have leftovers. I normally don't cook anything for lunch just because it's just, mm, I don't know, I'm lazy. Uh, <laughs> today I actually have some leftovers from a restaurant called Kava that my mom and I went to yesterday. If you don't know what it is, it's kind of like a Mediterranean style Chipotle. So you just kind of go through and tell them what you want and they make a bowl for you. It's really tasty. I just wasn't super hungry for all of it yesterday and so now I'm just going to have the rest today. So 
what I ordered might not look extremely appetizing because I kind of mixed it all together before when I ate it. It looked a lot prettier when I first ordered it, I promise. Um, but I got a greens and grains bowl with um, the superfood mix, which I think is spinach, kale, and Brussels sprouts, and then brown basmati rice. Um, then we got some grilled chicken, um, some tomatoes, onion, cucumber, and then I got hummus and tzatziki sauce, and I topped it all off with um, a lemon herb tahini. And it's super good, and this restaurant's actually pretty healthy too, so it's really nice. Like, I feel good about what I'm eating, and yeah. All right, quick update time. It is now about 30 minutes later since the last time you saw me, but my friend Sarah came by and she dropped off Starbucks for me. She's so sweet. Sarah, if you're watching this, thank you. I love you. And yeah, I got the salted caramel cold brew. So bomb, oh my gosh. Top tier. <laughs> all right, all right. So it is now a few hours later and I am typically hungry for a snack in the afternoons and my snacks kind of vary from day to day. Today I was feeling our trail mix that we have. It is so bomb. I get it from Sprouts. If you haven't had it, highly recommend. And also around this time of day, I will make my mom and I our daily green tea, which I make super simple, but it's really good. And I just throw some ice in a mason jar. I cut up some lemons and add some honey in there and then just add the hot water when it's ready and then let it steep and it just makes a super good refreshing tea drink and I drink one of these every day and so does my mom and it's just really good and pretty healthy for you too so it's a win-win also I got bored with the trail mix so I decided to switch it up for my Trader Joe's cheese party platter as well as my Ritz crackers toasted chips which oh my gosh guys if you've ever had those before they are the best things ever um, and if you haven't had them, I highly recommend you go to the store right now and buy yourself a bag because they are addicting and delicious and I literally cannot put them down. But here's just me enjoying my snack and my tea. All right, now it is a few hours later and it is now dinner time. And oh my gosh, you guys, on Monday, my mom made the best shrimp fajitas. She just uh, cooked and seasoned the shrimp in the oven and also broiled some vegetables to go with that. And also she made this sour cream uh, sauce thing and it was to die for. I was in heaven. The dinner was so delicious. And then for dessert, my mom just made a few of these Mother's Market take and bake cookie dough bites and it was delicious. Hello and happy Tuesday everyone. Um, Um, first off, sorry if my hair looks a little crazy. I'm hoping my curls will set a little more so I can brush them out. But besides that, it is around 10, 20-ish in the morning. Um, and I'm about to have some breakfast because I'm pretty hungry. Um, and as you saw last night, I made some overnight oats to have this morning. And they're just blueberry flavored. So I'm going to have some of those right now and also some coffee. So as I was saying, uh, Monday night I made some overnight oats to have Tuesday morning. And they're super simple, just a recipe I found online. It was just oats. I added chia seeds, uh, vanilla extract, honey, almond milk, and uh, blueberries. And you just kind of added everything together in the mason jar, stirred, and then added the blueberries in as well. And super easy and quick and the perfect breakfast to have the next day. So here's what it looked like the next day. Uh, the oats obviously soaked up a lot of the milk. And so then I added just some blackberries on top as well as some honey and cinnamon just to give it some more flavor. And with that, I made my coffee, same as yesterday, just with my froth I just put on top of that. And yeah. And here is me eating the oats, which turned out amazing. For lunch, I decided to just make some leftover shrimp fajitas from the night before because we had about enough leftovers for one more and I thought that would be the perfect lunch portion. So I just popped the shrimp and the vegetables in the microwave to heat up for a second. And then I decided to, you know, be the chef I am, toast my tortilla on the stove. Look at that action. Yes, boys, you can wife me up. And after I did that, I put my tortilla on the plate and then added my shrimp and veggies and also the cream sauce. 
And then to go with my fajitas, I guess it doesn't really go with it, but I cut up some fruit and put it in a bowl just because I love fruit. I eat it any chance I get. So I just made, cut up some strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries, and it looked quite delicious. And here's me eating my lunch because I don't know what else you'd want to be seeing right now. So here's me enjoying my fajita and fruit. You're welcome. It was delicious. And a few hours later, it was time for me to have my afternoon tea. And along with that, I had some more of my Ritz crackers. You guys, I'm obsessed. They are so good. And then for dinner, my family and I decided to go out to this dinner house near us. And I totally forgot to film my dinner. I got teriyaki mahi mahi, which was delicious. Um, so here's my family's eaten dinner because I forgot to film theirs when it came to, but that's okay. And then for dessert, my mom and I split some carrot cake from the same restaurant and it was so bomb.com. It's Wednesday and you know what that means, another breakfast. So it is currently 9.30 in the morning. Isn't it funny how my breakfasts are at like all different times of the day? I love the energy too. So I'm feeling like a smoothie today, partially because I haven't made one in a while. And also we have some very sad looking bananas here. So I'm gonna try to use them up. The smoothie I made in a video previously, um, it was my morning routine one I posted a few weeks ago. So go watch it if you haven't. And yeah, so let's go get the ingredients for that. So for this smoothie, I like to take some chia seeds and flax seeds and put that in, as well as some oat milk, some strawberries, blueberries, spinach, half an avocado, and a banana. And then I'll wash the fruit and add that to the blender first. Following that, I add the avocado, then I add my banana. And then I'll add some spinach. I just eyeball everything I add. I have no idea what the actual measurements are, but then I'll add some chia seeds and flax seeds as well. And then top it off with some oat milk. And then I'll add some ice from the freezer just to give it that smoothie consistency and just blend it all up. And I was feeling extra today, so I added my smoothie to a mason jar, even though I spilled half of it out of the side. Good job, Madden. And just a little FYI, this is a compostable straw, so no turtles were harmed in the making of the smoothie. And after my smoothie, I was tired, so I decided to make my coffee, which you guys should know by now is my frothed milk and cream, and I just add that on top, and it is delicious every single day. For lunch, I met my friend Ellie at this restaurant near us, and we had these gigantic salads. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Hi, Ellie. And I had a shrimp and avocado salad and it was so bomb. And then when I got home, I made my mom and I our daily green tea. And it is just so good, you guys. 10 out of 10, recommend. And for a snack, of course I had my Ritz crackers toasted. Oh my gosh, it's just unmatched, unmatched flavor. If you know, you know. And for dinner, my mom and I decided to make some pasta. Well, I shouldn't say we, my mom made pasta. Um, but we tried out this chickpea rigatoni pasta as well as some vodka sauce with it. <laughs> there it is cooking, so bomb. And here it is. My mom also made some Parmesan cheese bread, so bomb.com. And we also had a salad with it because you know, it is skinny season. And it was really good actually. It tasted just like pasta. So highly recommend the Bonza chickpea pasta, you guys. And for dessert, my mom and I door dashed some frozen yogurt um, and it was really good. I love frozen yogurt. I got cake batter, so delicious. Hello, hi, and good morning, everyone. It is now Thursday around 10.30 actually, it's pretty late today, um, but I am pretty ready for breakfast now and I think I'm gonna make some oatmeal, just feeling the vibes. Yeah, I just make instant oatmeal out of the packet because I am lazy, but then I'll put some fruit in, so that kind of is how I make it it's fun, I guess. <laughs> I'm honestly a little nervous because the maple, I mean the oatmeal flavor I'm doing is maple brown sugar. 
Um, but I'm also gonna add fruit and chocolate chips to it and I don't know if those are gonna go with each other But I really want fruit and chocolate chips so We're gonna do it and we're just gonna see if it's terrible. It's terrible <laughs> um, Yeah So as I was saying I normally just cut up fruit and put it in my instant oatmeal, but today I was feeling adventurous so I decided to try some dark chocolate chips in there as well and it actually turned out looking really pretty and it actually tasted pretty good too. I was pleasantly surprised. Hello, welcome back to my kitchen everyone. It is now lunchtime and today I am making some leftover pasta from last night and so I'm just putting that on my plate ready to microwave it. Now my pasta is done in the microwave so let's check on her see if she looks good. Oh, look at that steam. She looks pretty heated up to me. And you know, gotta add my Parmesan cheese on top because I'm obsessed with cheese. And it was so delicious the second day. It is now snack time. And no, I'm not gonna have the toasted Ritz crackers today, you guys. Are you proud? I actually went for a Lara bar today. I love the almond butter chocolate chip one. It is really good and delicious. And with it, I also made, of course, my daily green tea. Can't miss out on that. But actually before I could have it, my mom brought home boba for me. She's the sweetest. <laughs> and she brought me some jasmine milk tea with boba and it was delicious. Boba is so good, I love it. And then for dinner, my mom and I went to BJ's. I got the protein quinoa bowl with shrimp and then my mom got a really bomb looking pizza. And the bowl was actually really good. I've never had it before. It was pretty filling, which is always nice. And then, you know, I couldn't go to BJ's without getting a pizookie, which I forgot to film before I started eating it. Oops, but I got the salted caramel one and it was so delicious. Hello and happy Friday. It is the weekend. Yes, welcome to the last day of my what I eat in a week. That looked like I hit the woe there. That definitely was not what I was going for. So since it is Friday, I'm gonna make myself a little bit of a more exciting breakfast. It's a baked banana bread oatmeal and it is so bomb. I found the recipe on TikTok a few weeks ago and it tastes just like banana bread. There's not that many ingredients and it only takes like 25 minutes because that's just like, it's 20 minutes to bake. It literally takes five minutes to put everything together. So it's super nice and it's not extremely healthy, but it is Friday, so I don't really care. <laughs> And it tastes good, so that's all that matters. Let's go make that. So the ingredients for this are oats, maple syrup, baking powder, vanilla extract, uh, a milk of your choice, I choose oat milk, a banana, some salt, and then some optional chocolate chips. I then preheat my oven and it's just super simple. I add everything together to the blender except the chocolate chips. And then I just screw the blender lid on and blend it all up. It is a little rough to blend in this blender, but it does get it done eventually. And that's what it looks like. It's just pretty smooth consistency. And then I add in the chocolate chips, stir it around a bit, and then add the mixture to an oven safe dish. I'm just using a ramekin. And then I sprinkle some more chocolate chips on top. And that is what it looks like before it goes in the oven. And then I will put it in the oven just at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And while that's baking, I like to make my coffee. So you guys know the drill by now. Just froth my concoction together and pour it on over my coffee. And here's me just vibing with my coffee because who doesn't love coffee in the mornings? And then my banana bread oatmeal is finally done. And here's what it looks like right out of the oven. Oh, she's gorgeous. And then I don't give it a ton of time to cool because you are supposed to eat it hot. So I just add some milk on top for some cream and there's what it looks like. It is super, super good, you guys. I highly recommend you try this recipe. It's really easy and it tastes just like banana bread. And for lunch today, I was filling some avocado toast again. So I'm just gonna use the same stuff I did as Monday. So olive oil, everything but the bagel seasoning, red pepper, salt, 
an avocado, obviously. <laughs> and then I, as I'm toasting the bread, I'll just mash up my avocado. And as I was getting everything together, my dad was actually frying an egg for me because I do not know how to do that very well. But he does a really good job at making eggs. So he was very sweet to do that for me. Um, but as he was doing that, I just added the butter and then my avocado layer. And then my dad just put the egg right on top of that. And then on top of the egg, I added everything else like I did Monday as normal. And here it is all done. It looks so delicious. And then with that, I just got myself a bowl of fruit because I love fruit. <laughs> and it tasted so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. And you guys could probably already guess what time it is. It is time for my green tea. It's so good. I was actually drinking it while studying today, so that was a great pick-me-up. And then for dinner tonight, we got a little crazy. My family and my friend Noelle went out to this restaurant. We got some bread. We got a charcuterie board. Yeah, we're fancy like that. Oh, hey, Noelle. And then we got some fancy mocktails, which were super good. They were like hibiscus flavored, very fancy. And then we got a Caesar salad to share. And then for dinner, Noelle and I shared the pasta, the cacio e pepe, which I know I totally butchered. I apologize. And then also a sausage pizza. And oh my gosh, everything was so good. The crust on the pizza was like had sea salt on top of it it was so delicious and the pasta was rich and creamy and just amazing wow and then you know we could not get dessert so we got a cheesecake and then a really good homemade chocolate pudding oh my gosh 12 out of 10 would highly recommend all right you all thank you so much for watching if you made it this far much love for you. Maybe you even got some inspiration for some new recipes to try or just enjoying watching what I ate in a week. I know it's not super exciting, but it's just what I do. I don't make things super fancy, but it's still filling, still good. So can't complain. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week. Don't forget that you are beautiful and you are loved and drink some water if you haven't today because water is just as important as food. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!